Hello and welcome to Home is Where the Heart Is, a collection of talks on the values of Equippers Church. We don't just believe in equipping people for church through faith in Jesus Christ, but equipping people for life through faith in Jesus Christ. So we believe that this collection of talks is going to inspire you, encourage you, and equip you for life. God bless and enjoy. Well, Steve Graham, thank you again for joining us uh, for the next part of our talks on our heartbeats, what we value. We believe that values are the vehicle that would carry us to our vision, our mission as a church. And uh, the next one we're going to be discussing is Excel. Yeah. Excel. Um, What is your simplest and best description, definition of Excel? Just to give God your best. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a a, a really easy grid on how to do life when you carry the heartbeat yeah. of equippers. And, um, you know, in, in Daniel, it says that he distinguished himself with an excellent spirit. Yeah. So there's something excellent about Daniel. How, what do you think distinguishes an individual with an excellent spirit? I think they just, well, they're doing their best, they're diligent, they're prepared, mm. you know, they're, they're on time, they're reliable, they're faithful. Um, we said before, you know, I love the fact that Equippers is about equipping people for life. I work yeah. with a lot of young people, man. Yeah. I just say, man, we're setting you up for success in work and life. You're the guy mm. that the boss looks to and go, man, you can count on that they always do a good job. Yeah. You don't have to be, you know, watching over their shoulder. Yeah. Um, it's just a great attitude to carry into life. Absolutely. And in um, First Samuel, uh, Scripture says that man looks at the outward appearance. Yeah. But God looks at the heart. And a lot of times that can be interpreted in a way that we can doesn't just be matter. lackadaisical. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter what, what I look like or how I yeah, approach yeah. life, how I treat other people, because ultimately God sees my yeah, heart. Yeah. Um, but we actually take the flip uh, perspective on that and say, man, if people are looking at the outward appearance, yeah. it, it should be great. Yeah. It should be excellent. And uh, God's a ties in with the honor thing, eh? Mm. Like, people can see that we value this thing. Yeah, absolutely. We're treating it with respect. Yeah, absolutely. And the reality is that people that are on looking into your faith or yeah. the way you make decisions, they don't know your heart. God knows our heart. Yeah. And so I think our, our first line in the way they perceive us should be excellent. It yeah, should, awesome. should be well. And so we believe that we honor God with our time, yeah. our talents, and our treasure. Yeah. And it's this principle of first fruits giving God our best before uh, we give it to the rest. Yeah. And uh, give, give us a little bit of insight of what that really looks like to give God your first fruits. Well, it's kind of taking the best, the first that I have and giving it to him. Yeah. So, um, you know, we talk about that with uh, with our money. Yeah. Uh, we, we acknowledge, we honor God by giving him back the first of what he's given us. But even with our time, I think, yeah. you know, there's an increasingly increasing trend to just be kind of a bit lax about church and Sundays. It's like, actually, you know, the early church changed their day of corporate worship from Sabbath to Sunday to acknowledge Jesus's resurrection. It's like, actually, now we give time on the first day of the week to intentionally gather together Mm. and give God my best in worship together with the people of God. It's like, actually, this is an important part of how I do my life, how I start my week. Absolutely. And it it seems like when you set the trajectory of your week in that direction, when you put God first, um, you give him your best right from the start. It seems like everything else just kind of follows. Yeah. It really sets the trend. And I wonder if kind of almost excellence flows on. If I, if I give God the first of my time, my money, my talents, then I'm also going to treat the other 90% with excellence as well and, be, and do the best with that. Yeah. It, seek first yeah. his kingdom and righteousness and everything else will follow. Yeah. It'll be added. And so I think it's so important to give God our best our first fruits in everything that we do. And again, this is setting people up for life and the way they lead their family, their business, to be distinguished with an excellent spirit. Oh, and yeah. um, I, th- I think it's important also to identify excellence versus, versus perfection. Yeah, yeah. Because um, we're, we're not after perfection. And I, I really don't think God is either. But what would you say distinguishes perfection from excellence? Well, we said, I mean, I give him my best. Yeah. And um, I heard a guy recently say, uh, excellence is not so much around perfection, it's around diligence. Mm, wow. I actually work to do the best. Yeah. I'm well prepared. I'm early. Mm-hmm. I've thought this through. I just don't arrive and go, yeah. oh, whatever. Yeah. Because I want to do the best that I can do. It's not yeah. about comparison. Yeah. 
I want to give God my best. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. In in Genesis, when we we read um, when God gave Adam the commission to work, yeah. it's this word Shabbat. Yeah. And uh, that word work actually translates to worship. Yeah. And so, really, in everything we do in life, it's our worship. Yeah. So I think it should be extravagant. Yeah. I, th- I think it should be excellent. I think we should approach life as if we were worshiping God Himself. Yeah. And I mean, we have a few professional sportsmen in our church, and they often, you know. The, the, for the audience of one. Yeah. I got that touchdown for him. Yeah. Whatever I do, yeah. I've given my best for him. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for uh, some great insights and in leading us in that conversation uh, of excellence. Cool. And I uh, look forward to the rest of the series with you. Awesome.